So I just want to touch bases on uh, John Morant, you know, the whole issue that he's having with the media and the viral gun video and, you know, the backlash that he's receiving from the NBA and, you know, having to take a break from social media. So I want to touch bases on these things because it's important to talk about these things out in the open and how it affects, you know, the mental health of athletes. So when it comes to John Morant, you know, he has a $200 million contract, um, you know, for the team that he plays for, and he's 23 years old. So I think that it's important, number one, for him to watch the friends that he has around him. I know Charles Barkley said a few things about John Morant, but I understand what he's saying. You know, you have to make those changes that will only make you grow as a person and as a, as a successful athlete um, on and off the field, okay? So, you know, friends, quote unquote, you know, you don't always really know who your true friends are um, once you have reached that amount of money, you know, that type of wealth. So I think it's important that he should watch the quote unquote friends that he has around him. The company you keep says a lot about your character, you know, and where you want to go in life. That's an old saying. It's been around for years. So it's something that holds true to its value. Number two, um, you know, athletes should know that major sports organizations keep tabs on your moves once you sign that contract. You know, that's why what you do off the court, on the court, on the field, off the field, it, it matters, you know. So every game that an athlete plays, that's their job. They have to report to every day, just like a regular person working a nine to five. That's your job. That's how you make your bread and butter. So it's important to, you know, watch how you carry yourself off the field. And I say field because there's many different sports. I call it a field because it's a general, generalized term that can mean many different sports, I think, and different fields of, you know, uh, careers that you may work in. So I'm comparing, you know, him being an NBA player to that, that being like his career. Um, number three, the pressure of being an athlete can be mentally draining uh, more than we know. OK, so they only reveal so much. But um, according to The New York Post, you know, the police did a welfare check on him um, not too long ago after he posted some pictures of himself with his family on his Instagram story. As you can see, I have right here. Um, and he ended the slideshow with the caption saying bye. So, of course, that can be alarming, a little scary for family members, if not just scary in general. But he deleted these pics so quickly after posting them, even though his family saw those pictures. So, um, you know, why do you think he deleted these pictures so quickly? OK, it, it definitely appears that more people have judged him than look at the impact of all these, you know, judgmental words or perceptions um, that it has on his mental health. So, you know, that's a good question to think about. Why do you think he deleted these posts so quickly after um, is it something that he briefly felt or is it something that's bigger than that? And he's made it clear that he's working through problems, you know, and I'm sure that he's probably speaking with the therapist, but it's just important to understand that he's trying to put his mental health first. OK, so the fact that he's taking a break from social media that lets you know that, you know, his mental health is a priority and all the feeling that he's had from all of these different types of angles and sports fans in the world you know, maybe even his support system, it's a lot for an athlete mentally when they make mistakes, you know? So it's always think about their mental health because it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And him saying that he wants to take a break from social media, that means something, okay? So let's just keep that in mind when it comes to, you know, judging these athletes because that's all the media does. Um, yes, yeah, some things are facts and stuff like that, but a lot of it sounds very judgmental, um, especially when it comes from fans, um, sports experts, analysts. You know, it's it's a lot to take on as an athlete. They already have a target on their backs and literally a magnifying glass on their whole entire life. You know, especially someone with a two hundred million dollar contract. That's why we keep it raw and real on off the fields. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Catch you next time.